we're up to day 24 of Vlogmas. I've been very busy all morning. I've been transporting fabric that has just arrived from there to Hanson. I've also done my scheduling, my newsletter for the big Boxing Day. Um, wait and see. If you sign up to my newsletter, there'll be a surprise coming for you on Boxing Day morning. And yes, Meg. <laughs> And I'm just in the midst of making a trifle, pavlova and potato salad. So I am about to make the custard, but this is our trifle. We've got some grand marinier on some uh, sponge, some jelly down the bottom. We've got blueberries in there. So about to make the custard for the topping. We've got stick peaks. <laughs> pasta sugar needs to go in. So we've added the pasta sugar and got it all nice and fluffy, a little bit of corn flour and vinegar and vanilla. Got the pav plate all prepared with the dusting of corn flour, so hopefully it doesn't stick. Just added our custard layer to our trifle and it's looking very festive. So feeling pretty happy now because I've had my little oyster lunch and a glass of Sav Blanc and I, yes, I am a happy lady today. Um, so I've got things cooking in the oven, trifle prepared, won't be putting cream on that till tomorrow and I've got a bit more cooking to do, some potato salad to make. The rest of it kind of has to be done tomorrow. So it's nice to be a little bit organised ahead of time, I've got to say. And the weather here is absolutely magic. It is 22 degrees, perfect temp. Don't really like it too much hotter. I mean, probably high 20s is about the highest I like to go, but no hotter. But yeah, I love this kind of weather. There is no rain, no wind, but unfortunately it looks like the um, Carol's by Candlelight in the city is going to be a rainy one. So hopefully people don't get too washed out. And I've got to say, a bit of the Yummy's hummus dip is a quite a nice treat with some savoys for this kind of weather. So, potato salad, we've got all the potatoes cooked. Here we're ready to make the salad. Eggs are all boiled. Then we've got our pavlova done. The meringues are all done. So the pavlova just needs to be topped with cream tomorrow and berries and kiwi fruit. A lovely new florist in town called Little Burp Florals and I went and bought a beautiful native bouquet off her. I think it's just gorgeous. Frezies are all under the tree. The pile has grown significantly. I think there's a few of my daughters have been under there putting more frezies. So it's all lit up and ready for Seth to arrive. Joe's been busily, hello Joe, been busily out here cleaning up and mowing all the lawns. He's got his smoker ready to go for tomorrow. We've got the turkey brining. Everything's clean and ready to go. <laughs> so the turkey will get, now what are you actually doing to the turkey? We've got two turkeys and two boneless turkeys. <laughs> yep. That's four turkeys. So what are you doing? Uh, brining them, marinating them and smoking them. So what do you do to, what do you, eating what do you do, do you inject them or something yeah. last year? This is your forte, it's not mine. So what do you inject it's them not with? It's really my forte. <laughs> I have to keep watching the YouTube Actually, channel. What do you, which channel do you watch? Can you remember the name? I'll link it in the description box. How to box. barbecue right. How to barbecue. It's a 10-year-old recipe. Right. What does he do? Brides, injects and smokes turkeys. And what do you do? He does you inject, stuff. inject with butter, don't you? I think to get it really Yeah, they call moist. it real butter. Okay. So that's your job tonight. Is that right? Tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. And how no, long does it take butter. on the smoker? Four hours. That's not too bad. Mm. So you don't have to get it on too early, do you? Yeah, but I will because it took about six <laughs> hours last year. <laughs> and that is one of the favourite things. Everyone comes back for every use our smoked turkeys. So I'll be roasting the pork. I'll be uh, slicing up a ham and Joe will be doing the turkey. Then we've got um, all our salads. I might do some roast potatoes. And we've got our desserts, which is our pavlova and our trifles. So I think we're nearly set. That's pretty good.
Something else you're going to make? You say? Fried rice. Fried rice. I don't know how anyone's going to fit all this food in, but I think fried rice sounds great as well, especially for Boxing Day leftovers, which is the best. Don't you agree, Meg? You like leftovers, don't you, Meg? <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to day 24, the final day for Vlogmas at the Dahlia Society. Thank you so much if you have stuck by, especially a lot of you who've gone back and watched all the previous vlogs. It's been quite a long month. It's gone fast, but there's been so much videoing and I'm not, I'm going to say I'm not going to miss the editing part of it, but I am going to miss connecting with a lot of my beautiful followers. So thank you so much. I really appreciate the time it takes, especially people that have written beautiful comments, which I haven't had time to reply to most of them, but I do read a lot of them, especially when I'm out and about and I'm going to alert on my phone and I will read through uh, all the comments and I really appreciate the time it takes to write that because uh, I do think it's wonderful, the amazing connections I've made with my viewers and my beautiful customers in the store. So last night, I've got to say, I had a quite a relaxing night. It was a beautiful evening. We had a full moon and it was just such a lovely temperature. And I hopped out in the spa and I just was on my own looking up at the moon and thinking, reflecting on the year that's been the most amazing year, especially professionally for the Daily Society. It's been such an incredible year. I, I basically... And blown away by how everything's going along. Um, we really uh, had surpassed all my expectations, uh, especially, you know, building a new business at age of 50 last year. I didn't really know what I was getting into. And I've got to say, every day I wake up and go to work and just absolutely love what I do. I do find it hard to switch off because it does cross over between my hobby and passion and my work. So it isn't like a regular job. It's just so different. Um, I think being able to bring you guys fabrics, uh, patterns, which I love, it's basically like shopping for myself every day. I just think it's a most amazing experience. And the boxes, uh, we've just gone from strength to, to strength with it each month. Uh, Phoebe and I really can't, can't believe um, just how much you guys are loving those. So we are so thankful for a lot of um, our beautiful customers that come back month after month. And not only that, with YouTube, I find it really important to keep the channel going. A lot of you are not able to purchase from the store and you're just like jumping on here and watching the channel for inspiration, whether it be sewing, fabrics or gardening, which I'm really happy to bring you guys a bit of everything. So I really do appreciate the time that you've all taken to switch on and um keep me company here every week so, so a massive thank you so I was I was sitting in a spa reflecting on all that just thinking how thankful I feel for that every day so a big Merry Christmas to you all for watching and for being the best customers ever and nothing on me made today I've got a knit top here and my Christmassy earrings I had a lovely day with the kids we've all they've all been home and we've been um busy preparing you know food desserts salads having a couple of cocktails we had oysters for lunch out in the sunshine so it was really lovely joe's done heaps of work outside you know getting the garden ready and, and cutting the grass um, so i think we're all prepared for the big day tomorrow and i'm kind of trying to take it in my stride a bit and not get too kind of worked up about the whole christmas thing so i'd love to hear what you're doing are you all hosting christmas at home do you love the cooking and preparation or do you just I uh, get so worked up and stressed about it or are you heading out maybe you're on taking a holiday for Christmas which would be lovely as well let me know in the comments below uh, what you're doing maybe you just curled up on the couch with your cats maybe it's just going to be a very low-key Christmas for you which is just as wonderful I think so I'd love to hear what you're all doing for the special day tomorrow so last day of the glass house calendar and I know it is a big looking drawer number 24 Okay, right in the centre. Ooh, I am going to have the best smelling house ever after all this unpacking. This one here looks like it's the pierce de resistance of the calendar and it is a beautiful candle which is going to look gorgeous on my table. It's the night before Christmas dancing sugar plums. Oh, oh my goodness that smells exactly what you would envision a dancing sugar plum to smell like um thinking of dancing sugar plums i was just actually talking to my hubby about how much we loved going to see the ballet when i went with the daughters a couple of months ago and how i would love to take him to a ballet and i said it's just such a beautiful experience uh, i'd also like to take mum to the ballet too because i know that's something we haven't done since we saw the nutcracker back 
maybe six or seven years ago, which was just magnificent. So um, I know that the um, the ballet, I think the Nutcracker might have just played recently in Melbourne, and I do know that they're having Alice in Wonderland in the new year as well, so I would be really keen to go and see that. But um, this reminds me of exactly what Dancing Sugar Plum Fairies would smell like. So how amazing was that calendar? That was just treat after treat. Loved that. And, of course, I've got a Prezi in the last day of the Beyond the Pink Door calendar from Andrea, number 25, which is just been beautiful as well. So lots to catch up on tonight. I'm going to have a big day cooking tomorrow. I'll try and get little snippets of the family together. It is hard when we all get together because every time I get the camera out, the kid's like, no, no photos. You know, I think I always love to get a family or group photo. It's very hard getting everyone together but I have to force them because I know you guys love to see and hear from the family which is uh, wonderful. Now another thing a special treat coming for my beautiful uh, email subscribers to the website if you haven't subscribed to the to the website yet I uh, would advise, highly advise you to do that because there's a treat coming for Boxing Day. I'd say you're all going to love what you're getting in your uh, email box first thing at Boxing Day morning so a bit of a treat there I think it's just wonderful to give back um, to my beautiful uh, subscribers and viewers of the channel because that's what it's all about I think is giving back. Thank you for watching and thanks for taking part in Vlogmas. I've really loved connecting with you guys and showing you a bit of behind the scenes stuff what happens here at the Dahlia Society on a week to week basis. So we've got lots more exciting stuff happening in the new year. I can't wait to take you all on this journey into 2024 and I'm really looking into getting some beautiful summer sewing done for the wardrobe. Um, looking forward to even taking you guys with me when I'm out and about on my journeys next time which I think you're all enjoying as well. So take care everyone. Have a beautiful Christmas and Boxing Day and have, try and have a restful time. I would love to hear from you all. Let me know what you're all up to and we'll catch you all in the new year. If not, next week I usually do a roundup for my yearly makes. That will be coming possibly the end of next week, maybe New Year's Eve. I'll, I'll get that together because a lot of people love to see what I have made uh, in the year and what I've worn the most because that's what we're, what we're all here for and that's the sewing. Take care. We'll see you all soon and have a beautiful Christmas. Bye for now.